Hey guys, this is the Cardist. Welcome back. Now this was actually a deck that I've been wanting to review for a little while because well, I don't know, just because it's a unique deck and it's one of the decks that I actually saw when I first got into card collecting that was just like, wow, like it struck me because of like, I didn't realise that decks go into so much idea, like in the, this one's the Bicycle um, Party Starter a 50s deck and I didn't realise there was like 60s, 70s, 80s, like Black Tigers, this is one of the decks that I first ever saw when I first started getting into card collecting. So this is a deck that I really wanted to review. Now, I've actually got my hands on these, you can pick these up from Cards for Magic, so check them out, really, really great cards these are only three pounds a pop so three pounds for a deck like this is not bad so the whole set you'd actually get for 12 pounds so four decks for only 12 pounds and their bicycle branded is decent now this is actually a unique a 1950s design with actually trivia questions on the cards as well now it's pop culture questions as well from the 50s and it's actually printed out in 2010 it's USPCC and my phone's going off they picked it out, that's good. 2010 it was out, USPCC, poker size, it's a one way back and it's an air cushion finish. Now you can see on the front of the tuck case, and now someone said, why do you have to point it out? Are we actually just dumb? Yes, you may be, but I like to describe it and a lot of you guys actually enjoy that. So that's up to them I guess. Haters gonna hate. So as you can see on the front it has bicycle there with like a blue stroke outlining on there. So it makes it really, really nice. It's quite cool design and it has trusted since 19, no, 1885 there. Then you can see it has like a nice DJ, um, like a little mixer there with the 50s, the 50s. So it's like one of the old CDs anyway. And it has party starter and it has trivia and playing cards, okay? Has this pinky bluey kind of a pinky and um, light sky blue. And then you can see it's come to play bicyclecards.com. On the other side, it has air cushion finish made in the USA. And then it has a barcode there with some corporate information stating it was actually made in 2010. And on the top, it has standard size, standard face. And it has a black USPCC seal. It shows you reveal the back design and a four of diamonds. It shows you a ten of hearts, so they've actually done a four of diamonds. And it has let's talk about the 50s. It has party starter, trivia, and um, facts. No on every card. So that's pretty cool, it has standard size, standard face. You pop the tab and you can see it's white inside, wouldn't be cool if they continued the whole like, pinky kind of blue colour, would have made it stand out, but what do you expect, it is only a three pound deck of cards. Now you do receive two advertisement cards, just two bicycle advertisement cards, quite standard, uh, but they are printed in pink, so that makes it cool. And then you get the back design. Now as you can see with the back design, it has these kind of like these little stars, you know, the disco stars, so it makes it really, really to stand out, I've got to say. There you go, has the little stars and it has rock and roll uh, there with a nice blue in the inner side. So it looks like an old, you know, CD that you put on the old CD players. Um, it's a little bit different to now, obviously. Everything's on an iPod. Then you receive the cho jo the chokers. Then you receive the jokers, and you can see they both have a little saying, and you can see it's bowling, because bowling is quite popular in the 50s. And it has who is generally giving credit for the rock and roll the, for the term rock and roll. And then it gives you the um, net, like the answer at the bottom. And on this one as well, it has a, a question or a quote, and then it tells you who it's by or the answer. And this continues the whole way through, even with the Ace of Spades. You can see it has uh, a quote or not a question, and then it has the answer just there. And you can see in the background, it has like a cocktail there. And you can see the whole way through, it doesn't actually have that like, only on the Ace of Spades. And this, it goes the whole way through with all these different trivia questions. And even on the Jack Queen Kings, so on the Jack Queen Kings, where you get the little face on the back, and you can see it has like different little uh, functions or pictures from the 50s and the questions to go with it. Even on the Ace of Diamonds as well, it has a cocktail with a question, and the whole way through, it's exactly the same with the exact same design the whole way through. It's more of a deck for the, uh, like the trivia, really, just to get you up to date. But what's this deck like for handling? Okay, so I don't expect this deck to handle amazingly because it is, you know, it's more of a, just a trivia deck. It's more of a collector's deck just to ask questions if, you're, if you know a lot about the 50s. Um, obviously, I don't know a lot about the 50s, uh, pretty much. I don't know really anything about the 50s. But you can see this deck is just an air cushion finish deck. So it will handle quite well, but as it's a one way back, that is a downsider. So it means if you do a shuffle like so, you can see it will become odd. But that doesn't matter for me, it's more of a deck that will stay in the box to be honest. And because I'm more of a collector, so I'll get one, uh, two, uh, 
one each of the uh, ones I've got, the 50, 60, 70 and 80, just to keep one open, one sealed because they are a collector's deck. And I know they are quite expensive sometimes on eBay, so to be able to pick these up for quite cheap, only like three quid a deck, is really, really nice. Um, this deck, air cushion finish, there's not really a lot to say about it. You guys probably know uh, what an air cushion finish deck can be like. But you can see it's just an all-round very nice deck of cards. So pick these up from Cards and Magic. I wouldn't say they're a deck that you can use for Magic. You can if maybe it's a 50s style gig um, or something that's maybe for the older generation that may like this. But to be honest, for me, I wouldn't want to be see this perform this with me because obviously um, I'll just use a standard bicycle if I was like a magician. But as I'm a collector, uh, it's more of a collector's deck I've got to say for me. But really, really nice. Worth picking up, Cards for Magic, pick this up. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big old like just down there. Click subscribe just up there and check out Pursuit just up there. Also guys, please, 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 can you just give me an email if you're coming to the Magic Gathering. It's still on for the end of the month, so I hope to see you there. 10 o'clock outside Davenport's Magic. I will see you there. We'll be there till about 10.45, probably just waiting for people. We really look forward to you guys coming. That's it. I'll see you guys next time.